In April 2010, the Deepwater Horizon oil spill caused an ecological disaster in the Gulf of Mexico. The world's public witnessed this disaster impacting on wildlife as well as on local communities when millions, hundreds of millions of liters of oil were exposed to the ocean. The question is, what happened since then? At the time, politicians were not short of claiming and enthusiastically um, presenting their views how to regulate the oil industry worldwide. For example, a deep sea drill moratorium was discussed and presented, especially for European waters, but elsewhere as well. But what did happen? Today, three years later, the oil industry moves in deeper and deeper waters in, our world, in the world's oceans. The oil industry moves into critical habitats for endangered species, even into protected areas. And we are left to wait for when the next disaster will happen. The real threat starts when searching for new oil and gas sources in the world's oceans. Because within so-called seismic surveys, currently so-called air guns emitting up to 250 decibel of intense noise into the world's oceans are used and they pose a threat temporarily as well as long term to wildlife. Not exclusively acoustic living wildlife like marine mammals but also commercial fish species and others. So let's have a look at two of the current regions where such activities are subject for a heated debate. The petroleum industry is pushing for seismic surveys to be undertaken in the waters west of Kangaroo Island, a small island south of Australia. The surveys foresee the emission of sound waves with up to 228 decibel in an interval for every 11 seconds for up to three months, covering an area of approximately 3,000 square kilometers up to a depth of 2,000 meters. Such activities pose a serious risk to the wildlife of the region, including the breeding and feeding areas for the endangered Australian sea lion, New Zealand fur seals, but also blue whales, fin and southern right whales, and various other whale and dolphin species, but also commercial fish stocks local fishermen rely on. The waters of Kangaroo Island include regions far deeper than the accident of the deep water rise in the Gulf of Mexico. So you might expect that the oil industry engages in a very transparent and precautionary consultation process with the local communities. But they do not. They try everything to circumvent the process and do their thing. But what will happen? What will be the consequences if a spill happens? The oil industry leaves, as it has done in 2009 with the Timor oil spill in northern Australia. The disaster will be left behind. The fishermen and local communities will be impacted and the damage on wildlife can't be compensated forever. Although European politicians have been very vocal and outspoken to implement a ban for deep sea drilling, the reality is shocking. Seismic surveys searching for oil and gas sources have been taking place in various areas in the Mediterranean Sea, which are up to three times deeper than the accident of, in the Gulf of Mexico, such as the Hellenic Trench in Greek waters. Places also include protected areas or regions which are critical habitat for various marine species. Those activities take currently place at least in waters of Cyprus, Egypt, Greece, Israel, Italy, the Lebanon, Libya, Malta, Spain and Turkey. To me it is quite obvious that the rush for oil in the Mediterranean Sea is linked to the Euro crisis especially when you look at the efforts to drill oil in Greek and Cypriotic waters. But isn't the risk, as well as the price, maybe too high? Take a look at the problem of underwater noise. Alternative technologies or best practice technologies providing the same or even better results for even for the oil industry, they are out there, but they are not applied yet. What it would need is to equip research vessels with new equipment and have a one-off investment. So if you want to engage, to have decision makers as well as the oil industry push for a better regulated practice with a lower risk for our environment, please help the civil society initiatives and non-governmental organizations such as Ocean Care, Wild Migration, NRDC and many others. Mm -hmm.